very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to another episode of Beer Pe Charcha with I Quanta Toppers. Today we have with us a disciplined boy, the son of an office superintendent, hailing from a quintessential Indian household in Samastipur, Bihar, who despite being from a small town had big dreams and ensured that with his consistency and confidence was able to conquer those dreams. He has gone ahead and scored 99.76 in this year's CAT edition. Please welcome Mayank. Hi Mayank, tell me about your story. So, uh, I am basically from Samastipur, Bihar. I uh, did my schooling in Bihar till 10th and then class 11th to Delhi. And then B.Tech from Jadapur University, Kolkata. And then after that, I have been working at Samsung, Bangalore from July 2018. That's great. So Mayank, can you tell our viewers your CAT overall and section? My overall score was 99.76 percent I. In uh, BARC it was 99.54. In DILR it was 94.89. And in Quants it was 99.67 percent I. That's wonderful, you know. Getting 99.76, I'm sure a lot of uh, strategy, tactics, etc. went into it, right? So how much time did you take to prepare this, uh, you know, for this examination? Uh, actually, basically, I this was my second attempt. In first attempt, I scored 98.9. And so, like my basics were clear. This time, I had to. So I basically I started here. Uh, this time in March, first of all I brushed up my basics, and then I started taking mocks. Uh, you know, we understand that uh, you scored ninety nine point seven six now. So I'm sure you had, you know, set out a strategy in mind right from the start. Yeah. Uh, could you let our viewers know what do you think is an optimum time? For an average student to prepare, for an average student, I think ten to twelve months are enough. Okay. So in those ten to twelve months, first four or five months should be dedicated for brushing of the basics, and then the rest of the time it should be totally mocks, all in for mocks. Okay. Yeah. Mocks and their analysis, and like I would also like to emphasize upon the point that even if like someone has solved any question, he should look out look out for other solutions. He may get some shorter method for that. Okay, a very important piece of information here. You know, especially for topics like quant, there are several ways of solving a question, right? It is up to you to find the quickest solution because time is of essence, right? During this entire journey, my young, what was your toughest challenge that you had to overcome? So basically, there were two points actually for me. First of all, was when this pandemic started and, and the lockdown. Uh, because of some reasons, I couldn't leave my workplace, so I was locked up in my flat for four months alone. So at that time, I was working, I was cooking, I was preparing for CAT, and yeah, also doing some physical activities. Wow. So yeah, and then the pattern changed, and the very first mock that I, that I attempted after if in the new pattern, I scored just eighty one percent I. So it I felt like my whole world came shattering down. So and then yeah, like there was like, no other option. I had to continue my preparation. So very next day, I again started studying and I again started taking mocks. And gradually, like again, not of all of a sudden, gradually my work, my X percentiles increased. See, this is not an overnight phenomenon. This is not a victory that he has achieved overnight. He started from eighty one with the new pattern, and he's made it all the way to ninety nine point seven six. What was your strategy for every section? For every section, uh, VARC. So I will start with VARC. So for VARC, I was have like I had like, pre there was like, this uh, I was predetermined that I will solve all the questions. So for VARC, so VARC section for me was like a perfect lap for ten miles. Yeah. So when like it was like when I will get some easier uh, RC or easier questions, it will be a straight road. I will have I just have to speed down. And when there will be like a tough a passage, it it was like just turns and bends. So I had to take some time, slow down, and then solve the questions. So VARC section for me was like perfect miles by ten miles at Le Mans. So when the questions are easy, RC is easy to read. It was like a straight road, go at full speed. But when RC was tough or the questions were tough, it was like bends and turns that I had to slow down, read it carefully, and then solve the questions. And the best strategy for solving an RC is by option eliminations. So for this. Like students can go through Akash's videos to see how he eliminates the options. 
and for para jumpers again it is making mandatory pairs so that was of erc and then dilr so dilr needs lots of practice so first of all one has to be solved lots and lots of lots and lots of stuffs they can like get more than 200 sets at i quanta portal so yeah being similar through patterns and that it is easier to so sometimes uh, some sets may appear unseen so you have to take some time understand that and then solve it but yeah first thing first to do in dilr is go through to all the sets so that you can decide what like which sets are you are able to understand and then solve them so this is the section where you have to maintain your composure there is no other way to do it and then in quants and then quants was like again a quarter mile race by dominic twitter for me <laughs> so you have to go full speed go through solving like however number of questions you can solve again but here there should be rounds first of all first round should be with easier questions and second round should be for a bit tough and third round was like uh, should be the for the questions for which you don't get the logic and then you know but but yeah like in my experience i barely could go to the barely was able to complete second round okay this is a beautiful uh, you know answer given by my my anchor he spoken about a layered approach in answering quant like you know peeling the onion make sure that the ones that you know you answer them in the first go the second ones are the those are ones where you take a little bit of time and the third is the one that's the most difficult one please ensure that the only way that this is possible is by going through all the questions right yeah. and one thing i missed right so uh, yeah for quants again shortcuts are most important so those shortcuts are going to save you time are going to help you attempt more number of questions and in the in the deep search uh, shortcuts help me a lot in improving my number of attempts and also the accuracy that's wonderful so this year as you mentioned you know there was a change in pattern yeah right and aapko thoda dama dol ho gaya tha aapka score bhi us samay na tell us since you are a student with iquanta as well how did uh, that help you traverse through the difficult stages when the pattern was just changed the mocks that were given to you so, so when the pattern changed it was not a drastic change just the time was reduced and number of questions were reduced so one has to stick to fundamentals that was enough and uh, i quanta at this time was the first to provide updated mocks so yeah i was able to take mocks and uh, that gave me confidence right so i was able to solve the questions and over the time i got got more number of mocks and that's how my score got again like to 99 percentile range that's great you know and uh, can you tell us you give you given two attempts right yeah aapke uh, स्ट्रैटेजी में क्या अंतर था इन दोनों अटेम्प्ट्स में एंड uh, क्या मिला आपको इस अटेम्प्ट में जो आपके पास पिछले अटेम्प्ट में नहीं था विच हेल्प यू एक्सेप्ट सो बेसिकली दो चीजें थी पहली चीज थी आर uh, सीज कैसे सॉल्व करते हैं सो so, पहले मैं ये देखता था कि विच वॉज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन एंड दिस टाइम आई वॉज एलिमिनेटिंग द रॉन्ग वर्स सो इन माई एक्सपीरियंस आई सी दैट एलिमिनेशन इज द बेस्ट अप्रोच एंड सेकेंड थिंग वॉज shortcuts so again that helped me increase my uh, accuracy and number of attempts and third and most important thing was consistency and rigorous practice that helped like from iquanta and like the peer group there and like most important the moderators they will like came with innovative approaches like iquanta 250 at the last time and uh, <coughs> similar lrda 70 which like maintained me on track so iquanta 250 and lrda 70 so these are some Some of the very few of many features that Iquanta offers to its students that helps them accelerate during this entire journey. So, my uh, बहुत सारे features हैं, right? Iquanta के. What was the one that really stood out? आपके हिसाब से सबसे ज़्यादा convenience मिली आपको, या आपके हिसाब से सबसे ज़्यादा help आपको उस चीज़ से मिली? So, I was a working professional. So, the most challenging part for me was being consistent. because some sometimes they were long working hours and at the day i didn't feel like i have to like i could solve more questions but when i would open i quanta portal wo dikhta tha ki bahut sare log kar rahe hain bahut sare questions un logon ne aaj itne sare questions kiye logon ne is type ek sawal solve kiye so that gave me motivation that yeah i should do even like kitne bhi kitna bhi hard working day raha ho i never failed to attempt some questions so that was the thing that consistency and that hustle that i quanta builds Help me create like, to attain this percent time. Great. Can you tell us how many mocks you gave? Your mock or analysis? What strategy was it? 
So uh, in total, I gave total uh, 67 mocks. Wow, 67 mocks, guys. That is the amount of rigorous preparation that went behind this 99.76. Please go ahead. Yeah. So and in analysis, like uh, I didn't, uh, you know, uh, for me, a, a mock analysis lasted for around one or two hours. Okay. So it was not like I was spending too much long time because there was so many mocks and my approach was to take the those points from that mock which you know helped me score more in the next mock so the things were like uh, uh, methodologies how to solve and also to look in what type of questions i was uh, committing most type most mistakes like uh, in VA, varc inference based uh, questions were like you know a grave for me so i had to look carefully there how to eliminate options and in quants, I was always searching for shorter methods, shorter methods. So that's how, yeah. That's great. You you know, kafi strategically, tactically this exam ko maneuver kiya, right? Uh, what was your strongest section and what was your weakest section? And uh, weakest section mein aapko help kaha se mili aur kaise mili? So strongest section was quants, definitely. And weakest section was uh, like DILR and somewhat VARC. Again, because there were like sometimes I would score less in DARC and sometimes in DILR. So, quants again, because if to attain this score, uh, you have to score good in quants. So, yeah, so uh, those shortcuts really did help me. And then DILR, I went through like solving more than you know, 150 sets. Wow. So, that, that helped me <clears throat> uh, getting acquainted with the types of logics that go in a DILR set. And uh, yeah, again, like for VARC, it was the elimination approach that really helped me. Okay. Let's say you are 10 miles now. You are going to finish the line. Now you are the finish line. Right? What do you think is your strategy going ahead into GDPR? So, for GDPR, again, like uh, I would like to have a strategy for this and then work on that. So, yeah, in my strategy, first of all, like, yeah, I was a working professional and uh, uh, I graduated in electronics and telecommunication and then worked at an electronics firm. So I think the very first question for me would be why MBA? So I am like building up my story. Story is there but like how to formalize it. I am formalizing it, making it presentable and then yeah, preparing for various uh, uh, current affairs and uh, logic puzzles that might be asked. And uh, yeah, so that is it. And also yeah, like I am also yeah, making up my mind for being spontaneous because sometimes the questions in GDAPI are like it's not always <coughs> with current affairs or academics or your work ex. sometimes uh, people are asked like yeah how did you come how was the fair like like I have seen interviews and like these questions were asked so yeah you have to be spontaneous so man there are platforms there are several institutes out there can you uh, tell us for the benefit of our viewers step by step what is Iquanta's pedagogy uh, so for this I would like to go section wise so for first of all for VARC the solutions are spot on the methodology is spot on like one can blindly follow those methodologies to solve those questions for DALR there are plethora of sets available they are like and solutions for all of them is available and for quants uh, many many shortcuts are available there I remember taking screenshots when I was like not able to note down like I would suggest like noting down the shortcuts is best away but if you are not able if you are someone like suppose in market or something in between another task take a screenshot of that okay. and most of all this platform itself because like you don't have to go through some video and like you know like you remember yeah at this point the, the solution was there you just you know, open the page go through the solution and read it at your own pace it saves both data and your time correct absolutely now let's consider your 10 miles right and uh, this is your lemon you are maybe at the half juncture, right? There is still some throttle remaining. Yeah. What is your strategy going into GDPI? So strategy here would be like, you know, so uh, like for a guy like me who has uh, done engineering in electronics and telecommunication and then worked in a uh, electronics firm, the best, the major question will be why MBA? So I would, I'm like to, like I am formalizing my story, how MBA fits in my journey. And then yeah, basic uh, certain other things like uh, current affairs and also like to be spontaneous because sometimes the questions are like uh, 
are like not logical sometimes they would like say how did you came what was the fear <laughs> like i have heard like some people were asked questions like this so one has to be spontaneous for these type of questions so yeah like i'm making up myself and also like yeah going through yeah my academics also so yeah that is the strategy for this last mile wonderful i truly hope this last mile will be your best mile, right before i let you go today uh i'd request you to give your final words of wisdom to our uh, viewers out there so that they can also crack this exam the way you are so there are two things basically for cat or like in fact any other management exam one is methodology and second is consistency so for methodology again i want to help a lot as like i cannot over emphasize it and then for consistency this is again like the major part so one has to be consistent one has to one has to do practice daily so yeah those are the two things like yeah i would like to everybody to keep in mind while preparing for cat thank you so much for joining us today ma'am i'm sure uh, the wisdom that you have imparted today is extremely helpful to all our viewers uh, i mean i know for a fact that this is really going to help them right i wish you all the best in your future endeavors thank you so much for joining us agar aapko ye video bahut pasand aaya अगर आपको लगा है यू हैव गेन समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस इंटायर वीडियो प्लीज हिट दैट लाइक बटन गो हेड एंड सब्सक्राइब इट एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स फॉलो आवर फेसबुक पेज एंड स्टेट यून फॉर मोर सच अपडेट्स विद आई क्वॉन्ट